Namaste. Stay slow and centered and strengthening the back as well as stretching the shoulders and involve some vinyasas and flows. Set yourself up with a blanket and a couple blocks and we'll begin in a seat. Begin in a comfortable seat with your legs folded. Rest your hands either onto your lap, palms faced up or down. Take a deep breath in. And let an exhale out through the mouth. A few more breaths like this. Centering and settling in. you're ready, open your eyes. Lift the chest as you inhale and as you exhale, fold over your legs. Creating a circular shape, inhale to come up and exhale to fold. Continue to follow your breath. at the top before switching sides. Take a breath in, two arms up overhead. As you exhale, bring the left hand to the floor, reach the right arm overhead. center. Gather the hands together at the center of the heart. Switch the cross of your legs. Fold forward, placing elbows onto knees. And focus on rooting the tail and the sits bones down into the mat or your blanket if you happen to be sitting on one. Let your palms come to the floor. Continue to place elbows on the knees. And cross over your ankles and come to lay down onto the belly, moving your blanket out of the way. the palms flat, forearms as well onto the mat. Wiggle the legs side to side. Just releasing any tension you may possibly be holding in your lower back or the glutes. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Take a few breaths here. Feeling the belly press into the mat with every breath you take in. Your next inhale, widen the shoulders apart. Bringing them into in T shape. Turn your gaze to the left. 
place your left hand by your rib cage. Bend the left knee. Flex the foot. Use your left hand to help press you onto your right hip and bring the left foot behind you. Take your left hand, reaching it behind you for a bind. Even if you don't create the bind, just trying it out. And bring the left hand back to the mat to support you to return to your belly. Make a pillow out of your hands and rest your forehead down. And bring your left arm out wide and draw your right hand in towards your chest. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, press onto the left hip, bringing right foot behind you. Slowly return to the belly. Two breaths in neutral. And bring your hands beside you. Forearms pressing into the mat. So you take a breath in, lift your chest, your feet, your calves, your hands, and your forearms off of the mat. And take a big breath in, pop up the belly. Hover for a moment, and then exhale. I'll come on down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Continue to focus on keeping the glutes and the lower back soft, using shoulders, the muscles in the back to lift you here. And also simultaneously pressing the belly into the ground to lift you. And last one. And send your arms all the way behind you if you'd like. And lower down. Press back into child's pose. And take a few clearing breaths. Sit up onto your heels. And take a deep breath in, sweep your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, turn your torso open to the left side. Inhale, come through center, and exhale, open to the right. And breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. 
exhale one last time. As you come up through center, let your hands come down beside you. Back to the hands and knees. Start to shift your weight to the left, pressing into the hip and then to the right. And one more time on each side. Take a breath and draw the right leg forward. And heel toe the foot off to the side, giving yourself lots of space. Turn the knee out and then let the left hip dip down towards the mat. You can rest onto the forearm if you'd like here. Start to lift back up, coming onto left knee, heel to the foot back into the center. Shift the hips back, flex the toes, and fold it. See you in here, shift your weight forward again. Press the weight into the left hand, curl the toes underneath, lift the back leg up. Heel the thigh squeeze together and open up the right arm. Close to frame the front foot, skip the back foot in a step and hold. Breathe in, bend into the left knee. And continue to shift your weight forward, softening into the right knee. Start to lift left leg up. Bring left leg down to meet the right. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale and fold. Inhale, all the way up. And take a breath in, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale, half over. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step just the right foot to the back of the mat. Begin to heel toe left foot off of the mat, turning the toes out and the heel in. Press weight into right hand or onto the forearm as you dip your weight into right hip. You can just shift your way back onto right knee. Heel to left foot back into the center. Flex toes and fold them. Bend the knees, tucking it over the ankle. Press weight into the right hand. Curl the back toes underneath, lift, right leg up. Open up torso to the left side. Frame the front foot, walk the back foot in a half a step, and fold. Begin to bend the left knee. Add some softness into the right as well. Take a breath, keep shifting weight forward. Lift the right toes up into the air. Standing leg split. And bring the right leg to meet the left. Inhale, half the way. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise and stand. Reach arms up over high. And fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise to stand. Bring your 
your hands to your lower back. Put the fingertips pointing downwards and elbows pointing back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, take a breath in. And as you exhale, lay your head back. Take another breath here, really root into the feet. Lift the hips and exhale. Lock your hands down and glutes a little. Take one more breath. Slowly walk back up. Average hands up over heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step the left foot to the back of the mat. Nice long lunge. Lower the back knee down, uncurl the toes. Inhale, rise to stand. As you exhale, close to three. Curl the back toes underneath, lift the leg up, and as you exhale, step right leg back to meet the left. Take a vinyasa if you'd like, or hold downward facing dog. On an inhale, guide left leg into the air. Bend the knee, step your foot between your hands. Lower right knee down into the mat, uncurl the toes. Take a breath here. Let the breath out. On an inhale, rise to stand. Second torso over top of hips. Take a breath in. Let it out. Breathe in again. And as you exhale, close to frame the front foot. Curl right toes underneath. Lift the back leg and step right foot up to the front. Take a breath and step the left leg back to the back of the mat. Turn both toes so they're pointing forward. On the edges of your feet, align with the edges of your mat. Take a breath, lift the chest halfway up. Walk your hands over to the left side. Bend your right knee. And straighten right leg. Walk the hands back through the center and then off to the right side. Bend left knee and lean to the left. the center, lift the chest halfway up, look out in front of you, and then exhale, fold in. Toe your feet back in slightly. Bend the knees, stacking them over top of your ankles, and bring your hands to your knees. Dip the right shoulder in, and the left. One more time on each side. Start to tuck the tail underneath, engage the core, and stack torso over top of hips. That's the left, toes up, left heel up, and then the right heel up. Switching sides. Place your hands wherever you'd like, heart center, up to the side. Tie both. Stretch it all out. Heel toe your feet back together. Walk to the top of the mat. Breathe in and exhale, fold over the legs. 
Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Plant the hands. Step your feet back to plank. And then lower to your hands on your knees. From the hands and knees. Extend the right foot to the very back of the mat. And place the left hand underneath the shoulder. We'll slightly kickstand your foot off and curl the toes underneath to support you. Take a big breath in. Feel lots of space here, both in the top part of the side body, but also the underneath as well. On your next inhale, begin to lift the hips a little higher and extend left foot out to move the right. Take a breath. And come back down. Give your wrist a quick stretch. And then you're ready to come to the other side. And slightly kick, stand right toes off. Send the left leg to the very back of the mat. Step right hand underneath shoulder. Take a big breath in. Lift the hips slightly and extend right leg to the left. Side plank. Really engage the core. And come on down. And take it up. Step back onto the heels. Interlace the fingers together behind your back. Squeeze shoulders together. This back toe folds over. Resting on the forehead. If it's comfortable for you, you begin to rock forward and onto the crown of the head, lifting the hips away from the heels and guiding the hands towards the ground. When you are ready to come out, lower the hands to your back. Sink your hips back to your heels. Sit up onto the left hip and let your legs come in front of you. Nicely stack up the legs. Take a breath in, bring your right hand to your left knee. Left hand to hip, breathe in, and as you exhale, lean away. your sides, left hand to right knee, right hand to the hip, and lean away. Let in your legs to a B. And it doesn't have to be a super dramatically wide one. Big breath in, reach the arms up overhead. Turn yourself to your left leg, and as you exhale, fold in. We then walk your hands to yourself. From behind and lean away. Switch your sides, breathing in, reach your arms up overhead, and exhale, fold over the right leg. Sit up slowly and lean away. turning towards the middle, locking hands in front of you and resting onto the forearms, your chest, a block, whatever you would like.
onto the back. And flatten the feet, the lower back, shoulders, the head, the neck. Take your block on its lowest setting and place it underneath your sacrum. Feel into this slight arch in the back and this restorative back bend. like to take this a little bit further, you can lift the hips and flip the block up to the next tallest setting right in the middle. Reposition it. You try walking your shoulders together. Back into the crown of the head. Maybe straighten the legs up. Widen the shoulders apart. Replant the feet. Lift the hips up. Take the block out from underneath you. And then allow your legs to straighten out. Place one on the belly, other hands on the heart. This will conclude today's practice. If you would like to take savasana or meditation, it's a great place to take about five to ten minutes for that, or longer if you'd like. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.